What if we film here? <laughs> Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> Can I pull in? Yeah, bro, pull in. Right on. So this is where you've been spending uh, the last couple months, right? Yep, yeah. Two and a half months I've been here. You know, I've never seen you without your journal. Yeah? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> this is what God says to me, so I think it's pretty important to write that down, you know? I love it. What about the backyard? Yeah. Let's do that. That's where I'll shoot all of my videos. Well, I'm trying to think if we could go. So we're not on, on my property. We're, we don't um, connect to the water. But there's a little outlet over there. You can shoot it over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. Let's do it. So this is where I grew up. Like, I used to play in this field behind me. Just play football with like 30 kids. I'll drop my camera in the sewer. <laughs> the water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well then you hold it. You hold it, bro. I don't. <laughs> so this is cool. This is like Thailand. I'm about to be moving to Thailand. Wow. Um, it's such a big transition. I don't really know what to expect, but. I'm so secure in his will. I know that I'm stepping where he is stepping, and that's where I just want to be, just with him, and mm. just see where his heart is with the kids and everything. They're, um, man, they just got so attached to me, and they're just like waiting for me. You were there for what, like six months or something like that? Yeah. Or no, half the time you were. So yeah, so the the last trip I was Brazil. there. I was in Rio de Janeiro for four months. Yeah. Then Thailand for two and a half. Right. And pretty much what we were doing was connecting with the school and helping out with soccer after school specifically. And then we would go after that, when the kids got out of school, we would go to the villages and we would just tell them about God. We had a, like a little setup wherever it was in the middle of the village. Um, and we would play some guitar, we would tell them Bible stories, we would have like slides, we would tell it once, and then we would have them tell it back to us, so That's that awesome. we knew that they were, they were absorbing that. And then we would have a game, everyone would just light up, they would just get so crazy during the game, game time, and then we would give them a snack. It wasn't much, but man, they open up, their hearts are so tender. Mm. And kids are like sponges. You know, you know how a sponge, you like squeeze it. Scotch bright or? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever water is around them, they soak it up. That living water they're soaking up and that's what we want to awesome. pour out into them. So you plan to, to move there? I plan to move there. That's what God spoke to me very softly to move there. And very softly, explain that. <laughs> I, so when it started out with Brazil, all I said was where. I just said where and, right. and sat and listened and he responded. You told that story in my vlog that one time, right? I did. The story about that? I did, yeah. And most people know that pretty much like you heard from the Lord in a miraculous way when you were sitting in Kansas City prayer room. Yeah. And he just kind of, you kept going back into that place of like, Lord, I want to hear more from yeah, you. Yeah. And he kept speaking further and further. Like you first heard Rio de, yeah, Rio, Rio, yeah, Rio de Janeiro. De Janeiro. And then you just went right from there. It's like in this many months or yeah. like this much time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's pretty intense. But so explain this time, like what motivated you to move to Thailand for like for good, like one way ticket, right? Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm buying a one way ticket. <laughs> And, you know, when you go on a mission trip, there's always that, that comfort that you're coming back from it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right? right? And with this, with God's direction to move to Thailand, that coming back is in there. You know? Wow. I'm in a place of worship, a, a, a state of worship. And I just ask God, where? Again. <laughs> and I, I wait. That's intense. Man. I just listen. And he said, Thailand. He said, Thailand. And my eye just melted because <laughs> <laughs> that's intense. Like, it is intense. You know, these kids, I have such a heart for these kids. Hmm. They just, man, that's 
really what life is about is these kids pouring into that next generation yeah yeah it's what it comes down to you can live your whole yeah. life so selfish yeah and never pour into the children around you but they're the next generation they're the ones who it's left with mm. it is. so you don't know when you're gonna when you're gonna leave yet right I do not know but when I when I asked him he said plan for January which is it's just now. Which is now. <laughs> Tomorrow's what, the seventh, sixth? Yeah, seventh. Yeah. I believe. Dude, it's here. It's now. I am preparing. How am I preparing? I'm listening. I'm doing the same thing, just listening to him. Hmm. Just sitting in front of Jesus' feet. Just as as Mary did when Jesus walks into Peter's house, Mary just goes and sits at his feet and does nothing. Right. right? Just listens. Hmm. That's just what I'm doing. I'm just listening, just with no, no occasion. No Nothing on your own agenda or yeah. mind or anything like that. Yeah, just gazing, huh. just gazing. Wow. And he releases what he wants me to do. Yeah. And I do it. That's intense, man. What I've been focusing focusing on is planting seeds. Mm -hmm. That's really what God had me doing all the way up until one week before I left. Planting seeds. I had a thousand, I had $1,200 saved up until, <laughs> until two days ago. Really? Yeah. What happened? I had a conference and they talked a lot about sacrifice and to be led. And so I, I, I said, God, what do you want me to give? I'm happy with giving everything that is in my checking, which is $180. <laughs> But I, did, I didn't mention what I had in my savings. <laughs> right. That's that's what I wanted to give, and but I said, God, I, I'll yield to you. What do you want me to give? And He said He wanted everything. Really. So I gave everything. Oh wow. It left me with eight dollars. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. With plans to go to Thailand this month. With plans to go to Thailand this month. God told me to give everything. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing. That same night, someone planted $700 into me. Same night. Really? Same night that I gave 1200 someone gave me $700. So. Wow. I, man. God's got your back. Yeah, <laughs> every amount, any amount that I need is such a small amount to God. And I live like that money is not something that I really worry to worry about yeah whatever he if he tells me to go somewhere I know that follows where can people give to you if they would like to yeah so I have PayPal? Uh, yeah PayPal what, PayPal what is it it's uh, PayPal slash Nate for Brazil uh, Venmo dot com slash Nate for Brazil I also have cash app which is um, money sign Nate for Thailand. So it's kind of transition. It's urgent and I have no idea when I'm leaving, but I know it's this month. So the, the days are counting down and yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. So you'd like to leave what, like third, third or fourth week of January if possible? Yeah. And how? And a flight is about a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's about a thousand dollars. It really varies, and God will move the cost. Really, yeah. Yeah. Uh, testimony in Brazil. <clears throat> when I was in Brazil, uh, planning to go to Thailand, we were looking at, at cost for the flight. It was a team of eight, mm -hmm. and it was going to cost us around fifteen thousand dollars for all of us to fly round trip. Mm -hmm. Right. We were looking at prices. We found one, but it fell through. It didn't happen. Between one hour, it was 15. At the end of an hour, it was $5,000 for us to travel. Really? All eight of us. Nice. It was insane. It's it was a godsend. Yeah. And then uh, the second part of that, the US dollar jumped dramatically. Really? Like five, six points, the value of it. No way. So then I had an extra four or $500. <laughs> There's so many ways that God That's That's moves. crazy. Yeah. That's like a thing from heaven, straight up. Like Really? <laughs> really? We were so amazed. Dude. So amazed by that. Yeah. 
just how his kingdom come. His kingdom is action. Every thought that he has is already complete. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's just why I, I rely on if he calls me somewhere, it's already complete. It's, mm -hmm. It is done. Mm -hmm. It's already provided. That was the last question that I asked God before my, my first trip. I said, how? Mm -hmm. How am I going to get to Brazil? I have no money. Yeah. I have, I'm not sure. That, that sounds like it costs a lot. A visa, a flight, uh, planning and everything. Yeah. How? And he left me with, it is done. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Oh, man. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, dude. That's such a strong statement. It is done. It's already done. <laughs> Whoa.